What's going on, guys? We're here at Grange, uh, giving uh, drifting a shot. We brought all of the coolest cars here and some of the less cool cars. But we brought our grip car to go drifting in. Did phenomenal at Laguna Seca. Uh, you know, ran a 148 stock. It did great. And now we're like, you know, it did so well, let's take it to something it's not good at. We put uh, some beater wheels on there, taking the grippy wheels off, put the air pressure up to oblivion. And then we got the actual drift car, which is sort of in one, one piece, but better than the other one. And then we got, uh, we actually put field coilovers on that car and on the E46 M3. And over there, that's actually Odie when his, uh, in his street car. Um, so he's gonna, you know, give us some tips on how to set it up. And our personal favorite, the Cosworth Mercedes is here. So ready to rip. She's been here before and gripped, you know, format, but we got some uh, shiny Mercedes OEM wheels. We're gonna throw them on the back to see if she can slide. We got Ryu's E36 looking good, but what we're the most excited about is this. Maybe our diesel Mercedes. Ready to roll. We put the PSI for those uh, tire pressures at 120 PSI. So that and 70 horsepower, it'll probably slide. If not, Rome can slide it, probably. What up, y'all? I spent this whole week prepping this car. It barely made it. Finishing up here at the track. Has a blown head gasket. We threw some uh, head gasket sealer in there, and uh, if she dies, she dies. Oh well, we're beating it. You saw them excellent driving skills? That's how you do it. Just kidding, I suck. A uh, real driver's gonna take it out next. Uh, push the door in, pressure, and then open. Ah. Yeah, there's a trick to it. That's the only trick, I swear. You can't steal it. <laughs> yeah, so what the car needs is an actual driver. I can't drive for shit. At least not drift, so he's gonna try it out, see how it feels. And then uh, Odie's here, he's gonna start dialing the suspension in for us as we do laps, so hopefully by the end of the day. Fucking mint. And then uh, Ron's about to go back out. That's a real car right there.
Oh shit, that rim broke. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it clipped it. The rim got some. car with a proper set setup will do. So hopefully it'll motivate us and we'll be still ambitious and maybe a little bit more skilled than when we started off. But I'm still scared. was awesome super predictable man that was a proper build car man <laughs> i'm excited that's very cool all right if i if i don't make it home you can have the race car perfect all right <laughs> it brings you know? <laughs> oh He's man kind of getting it there it is yep let's get give it a flick i've seen it Look, wow. yeah! God, we should really have a safety crew. No <laughs> just, it's, they're just magic in every it, format. It, it might need a sway bar. We're gonna flip. We're gonna. That was oh magnificent. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Matt's like, 
I can touch the ground. <laughs> Driver's reaction versus passenger's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you good? <laughs> Matt, I think we're gonna die. You okay? No, oh, dude, that's a headache, dude. No, that was scary, man. I, I just held on to the seat on Daryl. I held on to Daryl. I was like, stop, stop, stop. We're gonna flip. We're gonna flip. After the first lap, I want out. I want out, dude. I'm done. <laughs> Dude, when, you're, yeah, when he was turning, okay. you can look down to the, the, the floor. Yeah. I was like, oh man. So we decided um, that, you know what, uh, either we suck at grip or we suck at drift or there's a combination of people who uh, are falling between there. So we're like, you know what, this thing is so majestic, we're going to do a timed lap. Everybody's going to get in it, do two laps. Yeah, your second lap is the, the runner. The first lap's like just to make sure you can get around the track. <laughs> and basically, uh, whoever, you know, I don't know, we got to figure it out. I think it has something to do with Korean barbecue. Or, or something vegan, possibly, if the vegan winners win, you know? So, yeah, we're working out the details. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna put, level the playing field. Everybody's gonna do two laps in the diesel. But there's a consequence, it has something to do with food, but we haven't figured out the details of what you win and what you lose. So loser buys everybody here food. Yeah, but how many losers are we gonna have? There's gonna be one winner. Top, bottom two. Split the cost. Okay. Your man from South. Yeah, your man from South. Oh, shit. Do so like that. The, the bottom two split it. The bottom two split it. Yeah. Dang. Row. Yeah. Three. Four. You're in it, Tito? Eight. All right. Who's going first? I'll go first. Um, yes. All right, guys. Number 10, baby. Let's do it. You got this. Why did I sign up for this? You volunteered. Pure, pure pressure. That, that's what happens when you hang out with these guys. You get pure pressure. I actually haven't driven this car ever. So we switch. So there's 10 drivers. So bottom four are gonna pay for top four only. Got it. Okay. And not everybody. It's more reasonable. I'm in this yeah, to I mean, win. I, I didn't yes, let's go, baby. <laughs> let's right. get it. Here, baby. Yes! There we go. Time, time to start. Sure <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh! oh! oh yes, yes. He's dragging the charger out of the front of it. Good luck, Tito. That's a good Uber driver. He's got one hand trying to hold himself in the car. Oh my god, Tito. Look at this guy. I would give him five stars. Look at that. Oh! Oh, four and a half. Yes, we got it. All right, we got it. 129.88. 129.88. 129.88. Alright, I'm up. Oh, 
like a little bit. A lot of bit. That thing's amazing. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Sally Rome's car. Rome got to, you know, drive a 190 diesel. Um, it was just so much fun. We learned a lot of, you know, driving basics and they learned some great grip stuff. It was awesome. We learned a lot too. And then we ended up ending it with a friendly competition, the 190 diesel. Um, Rome took it. It was pretty awesome. But everybody had fun, you know, everybody was good to just get the, the fan, you know, friends and family out here and just have some fun. That was all it's about, you know, just remember why we got into it in the first place. Got a lot of good product testing done too, that's good. You know, there was the lightweight strut bar on the E36, some 190 stuff. It was good, all in all, everybody's happy. We're all hungry, but it did good, it was good, it was awesome. And there's gonna be more to come. Let us know what you want us to do on the 190, you know, the diesel. I mean, less, a lot of stuff was talked about. People talked about lemons, about drifting, about grip. I mean, what do we do, what do, we do with this car, you know? Comment, video, vote, whatever. Um, let us know what we should do with it. Um, it's become it's become like our, our our beautiful small child. Like, you know, we're just we're gonna nurture it, you know? But vote, let us know what we gotta do on it. Thanks for watching, guys.